Matasevska and I'm a medical doctor in the city of Malmö in Sweden. I have here the pleasure to present our article published in Heart. This study investigates copeptin's relation to the development of coronary artery disease, total and cardiovascular mortality. This work is performed together with my colleagues Ed Honing, Persson, Nilsson and my professor Melander. Vasopressin is a peptide released from the posterior pituitary gland as a response to increased plasma osmolarity or decreased blood pressure. One of its functions is to promote antidiuresis by affecting the vasopressin 2 receptors in our kidneys. Vasopressin has been shown to be an unstable uh, molecule having a short half-life which requires complicated handling when sampling a patient's blood. When vasopressin is uh, produced, it leaves a cleavage product as its C-terminal part, termed copeptin, in a ratio 1 to 1. Copeptin is a more stable molecule in plasma and can therefore be used as a more reliable marker of vasopressin. In a middle-aged population, uh, it has been shown that copeptin predicts development of diabetes mellitus, diabetic heart disease and death. Here it was hypothesized whether copeptin predicts a risk of coronary artery disease, total and cardiovascular mortality in an older population with the mean age of 69 years. Between the years of 2002 and 2006, fasting plasma copeptin was examined and measured in about 5,300 subjects of a population-based longitudinal study in Malmö. Copeptin was then related to the risk of coronary artery disease, total and cardiovascular mortality rate during a mean follow-up time, time of 6.5 years. Moving on to the results uh, regarding coronary artery disease. When dividing our subjects into quartiles of copeptin, the subjects in the top quartile had a 44% uh, increased risk of developing coronary artery disease compared to the reference quartile. The results here were significant in patients uh, with and without diabetes, although they were nominally higher in the patients with diabetes. Moving on to total mortality rates, uh, it was here shown a highly significant association between copeptin and the increased risk of total mortality, and this was independent of cardiovascular risk factors. The relative risk of total mortality was more than 50% uh, in the top quartile versus the bottom quartile, with a significant trend over the quartiles. Lastly, uh, the association between copeptin and the risk of death was mainly attributable to cardiovascular mortality. Subjects in the top versus bottom quartile of copeptin had a 1.75 fold uh, risk of cardiovascular mortality. To conclude, this study shows that elevated levels of copeptin are independently uh, associated with increased risk of coronary artery disease, total and cardiovascular mortality. Copeptin may therefore help physicians to sharpen cardiovascular risk stratification in order to apply optimal primary, primary prevention. Thank you for your attention.